Imagine starting the day with absolutely nothing, no code, no designs, and no product, and then 24 hours later, you've got a full working SaaS app that can actually take payments. That sounds insane, right? Well, I just did it. And here's the craziest part. I didn't just build something. I built it on the brand new Rails 8 with all the latest tricks under a timer that would make any sane developer panic. With zero templates, no safety net, no cheating, just me, one laptop, and a ticking clock. And somehow, I ended up with a product that looks and feels like it's ready for customers. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how it happened, every win, every problem, every questionable decision, and why I'm now convinced Rails 8 might be the fastest way to launch a SaaS in history. I've been wanting to try a 24 hour build for a long time, just to see what's possible when you strip away all the overthinking and just build, but I didn't want to do it with some random framework. I wanted speed, but also structure, and that's where Rails 8 came in. Rails has always been famous for letting you get things done fast, but version 8, it's like they hit the nitro button. You got hotwire built in, making the front end almost instant without messing around with heavy javascript frameworks you've got performance tweaks baked right into the core it's leaner faster and honestly it was the perfect setup for a race against the clock the idea for the SaaS was simple something small useful and laser focused on solving a problem i know a lot of people have i went with an invoicing tool for freelancers one where you can sign up create an invoice send it and get paid in minutes so there were no bloated dashboards no complicated features just the bare essentials done beautifully and to keep this fair i set myself a few rules start with an empty project with no boilerplates or pre-built templates, only use open source gems or tools I can set up in under 30 minutes, and to stop coding exactly when the 24 hours is up, whether it's finished or not. My goal was that by the end of the day I wanted someone to be able to land on the site, sign up and send a real invoice with a real payment attached. Ok before I even touch the keyboard, I had to get clear on one thing, scope. In a 24 hour build the enemy isn't bugs or features, it's ambition. If you try to make everything perfect you'll run out of time before you even get the first feature working. So I split the project into two lists, the must haves, the things the app literally can't work without and the nice to haves, the ideas that would be cool but wouldn't break the product if they didn't make it in. The must haves for this invoicing SaaS were as follows. User accounts, a dashboard where you can create and view invoices, Stripe integration so payments actually work and a clean responsive interface so it's usable on desktop and mobile. But the nice to haves were things like invoice templates, logo uploads, multi-currency support. They're all really cool but not worth risking the core build. And then came the architecture. Rails 8 already comes with Hotwire and Turbo Streams which means I could avoid writing a ton of JavaScript for live updates. I decided to lean into that and keep everything server rendered and for authentication I went with device it's mature reliable and I can get it running in under 15 minutes for payments stripes ruby gem is perfect because it's well documented and plays nicely with rails out of the box on the design side I didn't want to waste hours fiddling with css so I chose tailwind css for quick styling I could make it look clean without diving into pixel perfect design I mapped out a rough to-do list on paper so I needed to set up the rails app add device configure the database build the invoice creation and listing system integrate stripe and test payment flow add styling and make it mobile friendly bug fixes and then do the the final testing, deploy to production and record the demo. Seeing it on paper made the whole thing feel real and also a little terrifying. But that's the point of a challenge like this and with a solid plan I can move fast and stay focused. The whole idea behind this 24 hour challenge is to go from zero to a working SaaS app. So let me walk you through exactly how I tackled it milestone by milestone. I started by creating a fresh Rails 8 app. Starting from scratch was key to make sure I didn't bring any pre-made templates or code that could give me a false head start. So I just ran Rails new with the default options. Next I added the essential gems, device, Stripe, Tailwind CSS, and then I set up the database, ran the migrations, and configured the ENV variables for secrets like Stripe API keys. I set up device so people could sign up, log in, and log out, and I added a few fields like business name onto the user model to make invoices feel professional. I added OmniAuth too so people could sign in with GitHub or Google. But then I worked on the heart of the app, which is invoices. I created models for clients, invoices, and invoice items. I kept things simple. Each invoice belongs to a client and contains line items for services or products. I wrote methods to calculate totals automatically including taxes, and added status fields to track if an invoice is draft, sent, or paid. The tricky part here was making the invoice form intuitive. I used nested forms so you can add multiple line items on one page without reloads, powered by Turbo to keep things smooth. Once an invoice is created, you can preview it as a clean HTML page styled to look like a real invoice. No fancy PDF generation yet, but enough to send a professional email. Then with the invoices ready, I wired up Stripe to accept payments. I implemented Stripe Checkout because it's the fastest and most secure way to get a payment flow live. From the server side, I created checkout sessions with the invoice amount and then redirected users to the hosted payment page. Once payment is successful, Stripe sends a webhook back to the app. Payments are the lifeblood of any SaaS and Stripe makes this part surprisingly painless. Once I hooked up the webhook and payment status updates, the app was actually accepting money, or test money at least, which was a huge moment. With the core working, I moved on to Polish. Tailwind CSS helped me to clean up the layout. Tailwind CSS helped me to clean up the layout, making it responsive. It wasn't really about making a fancy design, but more so ensuring the app feels smooth and intuitive. And then finally, I ran 
manual test to make sure everything from signing up to paying worked without errors. I fixed edge cases like empty invoices or missing client data. I used render to deploy it. And then finally I did a full live demo on the production site. Signing up a fresh user, creating an invoice and processing a payment. I proved that this thing wasn't just code on my laptop, but a real product anyone could use. So after pushing hard for 24 hours straight, what did I walk away with? First off, Rails 8 really is a beast for rapid SaaS deployment, especially with Hotwire baked in. No more wasting hours writing JS for basic interactivity. Second, planning pays off. The upfront hour I spent sketching the features and prioritizing core functionality saved me from getting lost in unnecessary extras. When you're racing against the clock, scope discipline is everything. Obviously, it's important to leverage third-party tools like Devise or Stripe for payments, because that lets you focus on building unique value instead of actually reinventing the wheel. And then most importantly, keep your UI simple and clean. If you take these lessons and apply them, you'll be amazed at what you can build in a day. Guys, thank you for sticking around and watching me build a full SaaS in just 24 hours with Rails 8. With a clear plan, the right tools and a bit of grit, we can turn a crazy idea into a working product in just a day. If you're inspired to try your own build or have any questions about anything we covered, drop a comment below. And if you want more videos about Rails, fast builds or SaaS strategies, click subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.